The following is not meant for children, has been edited by Cute Stuff, and is brought to you by support from Patreon. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Meester Alix, and this is Fallout 4 at Victoria. We are right back. We left off here in the Saugus Ironworks, uh, where we have to, you know, take care of these nasty, nasty raiders, because, well, they don't deserve to, you know, live. We're just gonna be careful about where we step, what we step on or step in, because there's a lot of hot, nasty stuff around here, and we don't want to uh, deal with that. Ooh, wait, beer bottles. Is that junk jet? Yes. All right, let's go see what I'm is across the way. So jealous when I get back. Yep, kid, they will be. believe I was lucky enough to get this assignment. You are very lucky, kid. This is a great assignment. Because you get to work with Dance and me. Soon, I'll graduate tonight and get to take on missions like this on my own. Sure, kid. So, the obvious way across is not really available. Let's see if there's a non-obvious way. More exploring. Oh, hello. What the fuck was that? on fire ah you oh well, that seemed to be simple enough Let's get that before it gets us. Beautiful. We found a heavy incinerator off the bodies of some old military remnants. Didn't recognize the dog tags, but Slag was impressed with the quality of their gear. As for the incinerator, he says something this special requires a trial. A test to sort out the metal from the ore. We've had few volunteers, but that doesn't surprise me. Most of these recruits don't have the nerve to walk through the fire, let alone the strength to survive it. Worse yet, I caught one of the cowards trying to cheat. I put the evidence in a toolbox by the terminals and stashed the key in one of the tin cans above it. I'll have Slag look it over before we feed him to the forge. Oh no, that's not good. Ooh. Well, 
Well, I will take your fusion core. There we go. And and ammunition, yes, please. That one guy who was unattainably far up. some other way. Thank you. Ah. There we go. Aluminum can. There you go. Forge recruits note. Smelt our console passwords. Okay. These new trials they've cooked up is impossible. Can't lie though. It was funny watching the first few recruits walk right in and see the feet melt off their ankles. Never heard anyone scream like that. It was great. Matches thought he was clever. But the idiot tossed a bottle of water into the thing and near blew all our heads off. Derner had the right idea, using power armor. He just didn't rig it to resist extreme temperatures. I think I figured out a way. I've got to connect with a trader from my caravan days who hooked me up with some flare-resistant leg armor. As long as I don't get waist deep, I should be okay. Problem is, my trial is in a few days. And I don't trust any of these other f not to steal it in the meantime. So I've buried the mods under the crucible. In order to get to it, you have to shut off the molten drip, then use the console to move the container down the track. Since I'm the one who handles the heavy machinery around here, ain't no one gonna move that thing but me. Well, now we know. Benches. Very tempting. Oh. Here we are. Turn off the flow of molten metal. Okay. Empty first. Smelter control disabled. Please turn off the flow of molten before moving the prison. Okay. How and where? That turned off. Now we just need to go back up. And you. All right, move the crucible. Right leg. Ah, oh, excellent. Let's see about using this to put those mods into my legs. Well, it makes me mildly unhappy that I had to use the raider's legs on my power armor, but it will uh, get the job done. Can't install the uh, flame-resistant mods in my own armor, sadly. But... Lovely. Yeah. Uh, These yeah. raiders have become annoyingly resourceful. We'll have to put a stop to that. Agreed. 
But at least uh, now I have what we need. I can't wait to try it out on, on some real targets. incinerator. This is going to be good. And here's where I'm going to say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do, you know what to do. That's to like, comment, share these videos around, watch an extra video, and of course subscribe. It's a little click for you, but it's a really big deal for me, and I appreciate everyone who does. And with that being said, I shall see you all on the next one.